All right, this is a getting started video with the Scout app in under two minutes. Just launch up Scout app. We haven't added any projects yet, so it's pretty bare. Uh, the plus icon in the bottom left will get started. That's to add a new pro uh, project directory. I've got one on my desktop called My Site. I'm going to go ahead and add that. Here we've created a new project. Um, it's currently not being watched. Uh, we've got a configuration pane. The input folder, this is going to be where you're going to store your SAS or your SCSS files. So I'm just going to go down into app, select that SCSS directory. And then the output folder, this is going to be where you want your compiled uh, CSS files to go. Put mine in public style sheets. And that's the minimum required to get up and running. Um, if we hit play, Compass is going to fire up. But since this is a brand new project, I don't have any SCSS files yet. Compass is actually going to die, and we can see that uh, with this error. There's nothing to compile. Um, if you're starting a new project, you've left off the directory argument. That's not entirely true. It's just that there are no files. So we'll create our first SCSS file. Save that. Go back to Scout, hit play. All right, Compass is booted. Uh, saw our screen SCSS and it created a screen CSS. We'll go back to TextMate, we can see it's created. There's our CSS file. And do a little sassy goodness. Um, Alright, um, I haven't included the opacity yet, so we've got an error correctly. And we can see that uh, in our CSS output, there's a giant error there as well. Let's remove that last line, and we'll just make a simpler change for now. Change the background to red. Alright, found the change, and going to our CSS file, we've got red. That is pretty much all there is to running Scout. Uh, feel free to add as many project directories as you want. Um, and that's it. Thanks.